Hello, welcome to this video with children's voices about why it is important to involve children in decisions around safeguarding. My name is Mieke Schuurman. I work with Eurochild, which is a European network of organizations and individuals working with and for children in Europe. At Eurochild, I'm responsible for our work on children's rights and child participation. This includes ensuring all children involved in Eurochild's work are able to do this in a safe space, guided by Eurochild's child protection policy. Eurochild is striving for a society where all children and young people grow up happy, healthy, confident and respected as individuals in their own right. Eurochild aims to bring about positive changes in the lives of children, in particular those affected by poverty and disadvantage. Eurochild is reaching its goal by influencing policies, building civil society capacity, facilitating mutual learning and exchanging practice and research. Eurochild has made a long-term commitment to meaningfully involve children in its own work and activities. At the same time, we are eager to involve children in decision-making processes at European and national level and have supported thousands of children to engage in these processes. Eurochild's high participation and safeguarding standards are evidenced through its recently updated child participation strategy and child protection policy. Both of these take a rights-based approach and are guided by the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. Eurochild's child participation strategy lays the foundation of how we engage with children. It is strengthening existing participation structures, such as our Eurochild Children's Council and the National Eurochild Forums. At the same time, it also envisages future steps that will embed child participation practices across our work and that of our members. Eurochild Children's Council has been engaged in preparing this video. Our Children's Council includes 11 children aged 11 to 16 years old from different European countries, and each one of them is supported by a national or local Eurochild member organization. At Eurochild, we believe that child participation is not only about recognizing children's right and ability to participate in decisions that affect them. It is also a key part of keeping children safe. Because children are best able to inform adults what makes them feel safe or unsafe. Child participation and child protection are linked. As child protection cannot take place without child participation, we also believe that child participation cannot take place without child safeguarding. Sadly, too many organizations and agencies do not take the views of children seriously when it comes to safeguarding. Instead, children are often treated as objects of safeguarding measures instead of subjects empowered to influence decisions within organizations. Consulting with them should be a key part in the planning, design and implementation of safeguarding measures. I am proud that I may introduce this video where four members of Eurochild's Children's Council will share their experiences on a range of issues they are passionate about. The video is completely led by the young people. They themselves have chosen the topics they want to talk about with regard to child safeguarding. Our first speaker is Anna. She is from Greece and 16 years old. She will present the importance of engaging children who have experienced trauma and hardship in conversations about measures that are essential for them to feel safe and comfortable. We will then listen to our Serbian Children's Council member. Her name is Eva and she is 14 years old. She will talk about the importance of child safeguarding in schools. Then Andre will speak. He is a Maltese member of the Eurochild Children's Council. He will address the importance of child participation and decision making with regard to online and digital safety. He is 14 years old. Our last speaker is Lana. She is 11 years old and from the Children's City Council in Opatia in Croatia. She will talk about her experience in the Children's City Council and the safeguarding measures that are taken. If you have questions for the children, we are happy to pass these on to them and reply to you in writing. I wish you an inspiring session. Hello, I'm Anna. I'm 16. I'm from Greece and I'm representing the Smile of the Child. 
Child participation is a concept that provides young people the opportunity to be actively involved in matters that concern their future. Essentially, we're talking about them having a say in topics that directly affect them or affect the community to achieve a protection of children's rights. In the past, child participation did not even exist as a concept, with a common assumption that adults always know better, even in situations where, where young people's input would be of utmost importance. While this has now changed and children have a more active role in the decision-making process, child participation is not as present as it should be. Children still do not have the opportunity to be heard in decisions that directly concern their future. To understand the extent of this problem, let's put ourselves in the position of children that have survived torture and hardship, all by themselves. Children that grew up neglected without having their basic needs covered. Children growing up in abusive households. Children that were implicated in armed conflicts and had to be witnesses of frightening scenes leaving their homes at the age of five. Even children that do not feel safe entering their school building, not knowing if they'll return home safely. And let's imagine, just for a minute, what are these children's thoughts when they see people in black suits shaking hands, claiming that they have found the magical solution to every problem concerning child exploitation, poverty or abuse? Or what do they feel when their voices get silenced because the profit of the organizations that are supposed to help them is higher when the help they are offering is not substantial but superficial? In each and every one of these cases, children know better what is best for their safety, what benefits them and what protects their rights. It is very common for young people that have survived hardship to be viewed as vulnerable, as vulnerable children who lack expertise due to an adult-centric perspective of protection. Children are experts in their own experiences and no adult or government official can know better than them what is best for their safety and stability. For someone who has lived through adverse situations, there there is no expertise or specific knowledge needed in order to have a say in what a safe environment means for them. Evidence suggests that when children have the opportunity to participate in matters, in matters concerning their well-being, their self-esteem, sense of empowerment and adaptive skills are developed. This shows that participation itself works in favour of protecting children and can help them to better express themselves when it comes to their experiences. However, when working with young people, it is crucial for decision makers to create safe environments and provide a variety of ways in which children can freely express their views. It is also important for them to display sensitivity and understanding so as to build a relationship in which children can feel protected and safe to express their thoughts. Personally, I have gained first-hand experience of trying to create this environment in order to listen to the views of children that have been through difficult situations. While being a member of the Children's Rights Team of my organization, I was given the chance to participate in intensive trainings and later on volunteer in the 1056 Helpline, which is the national SOS helpline for children operated by the smile of the child. It is available throughout Greece on a 24-hour basis, seven days a week, 365 days a year, for every child and adult for the provision of support on issues of their concern, and it is staffed by specialized social workers and psychologists. Being a part of the helpline, I've understood how important it is for children to have a safe environment in which they can share their thoughts and concerns, but most importantly, have mutual understanding with the people hearing them out. Children involved in such procedures must be surrounded with the right people in an ideal and secure environment to effectively achieve the goal of child participation. When we talk about child participation, we talk about young people standing up for themselves and every child they represent. Young people trying to make children's rights something that plays a vital role in changing society by serving children's best interests, and especially in topics that directly affect them. In such negotiations, it is not enough for children to only present their viewpoints and opinions. Children's voices must be the ones with the highest gravity in order to ensure their best interest. In this way, children get to have a role as agents of transformation with the capability to improve and build a strong and supportive community for everyone, while ensuring the protection of their own rights. There is no room for wrong decisions with consequences that might last for a lifetime. Children need to be protagonists of their own story. They might not have chosen to experience dreadful situations and hardship, but it is of utmost importance that they choose the way they feel safer and more protected by having the leading role in decision-making procedures. School is a place where we go every day. We wake up, brush our teeth, eat something, preferably make our bed and go to school. And it's like that every day of the week. It is important and has a great impact on all of us. It almost feels like our second home. It's a huge part it plays in our lives, which is why it's important that we feel safe in it and heard and happy most of all. And like I said, huge part of our lives. 
but we don't really get saying in any of it. Even though we all have school parliaments, the function of it is under a question. The idea was to have a body that will enable our thoughts to be heard and comprehend. And throughout that body we could give ideas like what kind of schooling would be the most suitable for us in the time of COVID-19. But no one really asked children that question. And if the main goal is for children to learn, just ask them what they think about it is the most efficient way to do it. And it's the same thing with the teams for protection children from violence and abuse and exploitation, neglectance. It seems that the system understands what kind of structure is needed to exist, it's just that none of these fu bodies function at all. I read somewhere that the root of the word school comes from the Greek word skoli, which means leisure, and it's so far from its meaning. Likewise, the word disciplines comes from the uh, Latin word disciplina, meaning instruction and training and in my country is related to violently silencing children during classes. It seems that my generation is raised on fears instead of hopes. But personally, I think that together the teacher and the student can make a safe and comfortable environment for everyone. It's not a possible goal, but to get there, there have to be good communication between the two and teachers should be more open-minded about it. And together, hopefully, we can make these bodies function. For real this time. The United Nations Convention for the Rights of the Child, Article 19, makes it clear that children and young people have a basic human right to dignity. In this regard, every child should have a say regarding their data, what is shared and how their data is processed, as well as who and how their data is stored. Even though an age limit is set on certain apps and portals, children are still making use of such services. Parents and guardians should be responsible to only allow their children to use age-appropriate websites and apps. During the COVID-19 pandemic, children also had to resort to online means to learn and keep in contact with relatives and friends. The fact that children were spending more time online exposed them to risks. Service providers can also help when it comes to the safety of children and young people online. Sadly, children are also targets of cyber attacks, with their data being exposed during hacks. Children can make sure that the software they use is safe and more awareness should be made in this regard, as well as issues such as Wi-Fi pineapples. Children have a right to safety, as well as to participate. Adults and decision makers should involve children in discussions when taking decisions, especially ones that affect them. All information should be accessible and child-friendly. Information such as terms and conditions on websites is lengthy and difficult to read and understand, especially for children. Children should have a safe space available to discuss issues regarding their online safety. Hello, my name is Lana, I'm 11 years old. I come from Croatia, a small child-friendly city, Apatia. I'm a member of Eurasian Children's Council, NEF Croatia and Children's City Council of the city of Apatia. I come from a child-friendly city where children participation is very respected. For me, children participation is where children and adults work together and together make changes in their city. In my city, Tina City Council is very important. Being a part of it, for me, is being a member of a great community. Tina City Council is an activity that allows children and young people to exercise their children's rights and encourages them to actively participate in the life of the city of Apatia. Uh, the Children's City Council allows children to freely express their opinions, make suggestions, and participate in, in decision-making process uh, that raises the quality of life of children in their city. In our Children's City Council, we meet every week and discuss different topics. For example, what needs to be changed in our community regarding children. We have all kinds of different projects we are a part of. 
before becoming a member, on our elections, we have presentations of the work of Children's Day Council and about children participation, as well as training on the UN Convention of the Rights of the Child. After the presentation, children voluntarily get involved in the election process and have to make up their pre-election campaign. After that, two children from each classes are elected based on the secret ballot voting. Our Children's City Council is the only Children's City Council that has been actively working for 20 years. We are the only council uh, where children have their own budget of 12,000 kunas or 1,300 euros. We are the only council in which children give out uh, proposals for the big city budget and have to receive a rating a response feedback why something entered the budget or not. We are the only child friendly city in Croatia which received a special uh, requisition for our active promotion and work on children participation. Our Children's City Council Mayor sent us on the creation of cooperation with the big mayor based on respecting children participation in the work of our city. Our mayor is the only mayor in Croatia who signed the call on the creation of child-friendly city. Regarding what needs to be changed, I would like for a bigger number of children to get actively involved in councils like mine, to realize what is important and how to become an active citizen of your community and world. Our mentors and educators who work with us uh, do everything so we could feel protected and respected. Our parents have to sign all different concept forms. Our names and years of age are only shown when it is necessary. Before having presentations or sessions with our mayor, we have all kinds of different preparation through games, presentations, workshops and different kinds of activities. Also, our mentors always prepare adults we will be talking to on how to approach us to behave in a child-friendly way. Also, the adults for our city are go now going to trainings on how to behave child-friendly and realize children participation. I think it's important to feel safe in your environment uh, that is child-friendly that children are well prepared and that I help in making change. Thanks for attention and bye.